I came up here to see some of the aftermath of the storm from last night. Uh, we've had no power since 10.30. It's 5.30 in the morning. I've got trees on the line in this direction. There are trees on the line, which you probably can't see really well, in that direction. Um, we'll be doing some tree work. I don't know if we'll do it today. Maybe. So see, this tree is our neighbor's tree. You see it there? And you can see where it snapped, that big maple. And it snapped all the way up and is laying on the line. Um, we had this tree snap and it goes in that direction. The tree underneath it is coming uphill. And then three branches off our really big maple tree came off. Well, that buckthorn, you know. Nature's barbed wire. So I'm coming down the hill a little here. It's just going to be a little slow. <laughs> There's lots of uh, downed items. All right, so. As I get down here, without the dog dragging me down the hill, as he is apt to do, he's excited. I can't let him go though. Yes, I did get a call from the power company saying that crews were on the scene and I'd have power at 3 a.m. I laughed when I heard that message. <laughs> There's no crews on the scene yet. So anyway, here's this one. That one's going down. That's the one I showed you where it snapped off. Then the other one in there is snapped off from that tree right here. Snapped off and it goes that way. And then this is the tree. See the base of that tree? That one's the one laying on the power line from our yard, which we aren't gonna touch because we're not going to do that. Dog likes to wrap me around the tree. So this tree right here, you don't notice on the ground, I gotta climb over this in this direction. And I gotta climb that way in that direction. That tree split in half in a storm. Oh gosh, five years ago already. Ooh, but it does a nice job for the water runoff. We've never messed with it. It's just one of those things. So, all right, come here. So when they cleaned up this yard before we bought it, their idea of cleaning up was any down storms. They just piled logs all over. We've slowly been cleaning that up over time. They're so rotten though that you just don't want to handle them. We've been here now for I think eight years already. We've lived here. All right, so here's my normal path that I'm, just kind of crappy footage for you, but no other way to do it. So, oh, there's another tree in there. So you can see that. Oh, maybe you can't. Oh, there's, here's, there's a big tree there. I have to walk under it, which is not so great. My dog really wants to get into the tops of the trees. I'm not so keen on climbing into the top of the tree. All right. So that, oh, sh Nikes. I just did something foolish. All right, so, oh, okay. 
so this is a, see that tree right there that's snapped and the other tree is sitting on top of it that I just walked under ouch this is gonna be a fun day I don't know how much we'll get done today um, we'll probably get the stuff that's most dangerous done today okay so that's sitting on that see this tree right here is snapped where's the rest of that tree oh it's airborne oh my gosh that's what I just walked under foolish woman all right let me get out of here It's still supported. So it goes there. And the rest of the tree is airborne. And it's held by a, a thin sliver of wood. Holy cow. Right there. And this, this nice big maple, which is sadly our best producing maple syrup. Let me get out of here. Maple syrup tree. Ah, so at least. See up there where that big branch is split off, and then there's another one that is split off. Um, sadly, it's lost three branches here. Come here, Rini. Um, And it goes all the way up. It's a massive tree. Um, this is from this winter. We lost our snow and stopped hauling it down. We'll finish now, obviously. We'll have more of a workload to do. But little branches close to the house. So little branches by the house I, I have no problem with. But that tree sitting right there that sticks right out, that's going to be a, a tough one. That's going to be a, a tough job. All right, now you'll see, you'll definitely have some tree work coming from us pretty soon on video based on the based on the amount of damage I see and I only went up one side of the yard we've been working on these trees for years so they don't go to the house some of the ones that are dead but that big maple stayed but wow it was some strong winds 60 miles an hour last night it's massive storms and rain. All the vehicles were okay. We lucked out. But wow. I can't believe I walked under that. Holy smokes. This side doesn't look so bad. All right. Well, that's all for now. Sorry for the non-still footage, but hey, it's walking in the woods to look at the damage. This tree is on our list to go anyway. It's dead. I marked the dead ones, and we usually do those in the winter. But we'll be doing cleanup. But that one that's airborne, that ought to be exciting and difficult. <laughs> Just how to tackle it without getting injured. Having it twist from above ought to be, ought to be great. We do have some 
branches down in the yard that missed the house. Um, last night I thought the the way they were moving, I thought we were going to have a tree go through the roof with the willow, but surprisingly just a few branches fell off. Happily, just a few branches fell off. So, all right. The next time you see this will be when we're working on it. <laughs>